We're going to have a great night. Uh, but it's politics and it's elections, and you never know. I can say that uh, Texas, Arizona, a few of them are looking really very, very strong. Florida looking very, very strong. President Trump, as we showed it to you live just moments ago here on Outnumbered Overtime, he was at his campaign headquarters ahead of the polls closing tonight. He has denied a report this week that he would prematurely declare victory on uh, the evening if he was running ahead. And Biden's campaign manager says there's no scenario where the president could claim a win tonight. Under no scenario will Donald Trump uh, be declared a victory, a victor on election night. We won't have all the ballots that will be counted when the polls close. And we won't even have them all on election night. And it is no different than any other time. And that is not something that uh, Donald Trump should make you think is, is bad or wrong. It is the way it works. I want to bring in now Trump campaign director of press communications, Aaron Perini. Aaron, good to see you today. First of all, your reaction to what was just said. Well, I think that she is being completely disingenuous, and actually she is spreading disinformation there uh, by saying that this is how it's always been done. Democrats across the country have been trying to undermine the election integrity in the United States. In Nevada, they just changed their election laws. So for her to try and say that this is how it's always been is a flat-out lie. But we shouldn't expect anything different from the Biden campaign there. You see them saying that President Trump cannot win tonight. That's a lie, saying that this is how elections always work. That's a lie. There's nothing about that that's being honest with the American people. Listen, President Trump has been unequivocally clear. We want to make sure the rules are clear and concise so the American people know how to vote. There is a deadline. It is Election Day, and that is today. You know, when you talk about the Biden campaign, the, the candidate himself even responded to this. Let's watch that. The president's allies today have been talking quite a bit about maybe declaring victory on Tuesday night, uh, even if the votes aren't final, if he seems to be up ahead. What's your response? My response is the president's not going to steal this election. Uh, Aaron Perini, I know you've spoken about his campaign, but now the candidate's saying it. Well, I'm really sorry for the American people that they have to listen to Joe Biden lie to them like that. It's unbelievable that he would try and say President Trump is trying to steal this election when President Trump is protecting election integrity and the fabric of our nation with the work he has done to do so. Joe Biden and Democrats are the ones that are trying to allow for ballots that are not postmarked in states to come in and be counted for over a week afterwards in some of these states. There is a deadline. It is the election. It is the first Tuesday after the first Monday of November. That's how our country works. And every state gets to choose what format works best for them. But Democrats trying to change the rules, upend the process here to try and be able to cram votes in later, that's right. stealing the election. And that's the opposite of what the president's doing. Wow. Both campaigns pointing those fingers. But we all point to the voters, right, Aaron? We're going to know, uh, hopefully sooner than later. Good to see you. Thank you very much. America's facing the confluence of crises, unlike anything in living memory. We're still on the battle for the soul of America. Decency, honor, respect. Where has it gone with this president? If you want your children to be safe, if you want your values to be respected, if you want to be treated with honor, dignity, and respect, then I am asking you to go tomorrow and vote for a person named President Trump. The candidates making their closing arguments in the 2020 White House race with both the president and Joe Biden making pitches to undecided voters as Americans across the country make their voices heard on this election day. So how confident is the Trump team? Joining us now, Laura Trump, Trump 2020 campaign senior advisor. Laura, good morning to you. So what is the mood inside the campaign this morning? Well, good morning. We feel really positive. Look, we've all worked so hard over the past several months and 
really where our campaign never shut down, Sandra. We have kept it going uh, since the win in 2016, and we have built a ground game that is unprecedented in uh, the Republican Party. Our entire family has been spread out all across the country over the past several months, working hard. And I got to tell you, we are poised for what we think is a historic win tonight for President Trump. We know that on the trail, the president has spent a lot of time going after Joe Biden's uh, mental fitness. He appeared to do that again in a new interview uh, on Fox this morning. Here was the phoner. Listen. Joe, Joe Biden is not prime time. He's not, and he never was, actually. He's called his location where he was, you know, he's in Ohio, and he, he says, I'm in Iowa. It's great to be with the people of Iowa. And they start screaming, no, no, you're in Ohio. And that's, done, that's happened many, many times. So is that the closing argument of the president and his campaign, or is this more about the economy, fighting COVID, uh, safety in our streets? What is the closing argument from your campaign? Well, the closing argument is that Donald Trump has been able to deliver for the American people uh, in four years more than Joe Biden has ever dreamed of delivering in 47 years. So uh, people, I think, can feel the positive impact of Donald Trump as president. We have seen the great economic highs, the unemployment lows under this president, uh, renegotiation of trade deals that don't forget Joe Biden got us into those bad trade deals like NAFTA. This is a president that rebuilt and revitalized our military, but it is 100 uh, percent accurate to say that there is something that has slowed down about Joe Biden. A lot of people have seen it. We saw it on stage during the primary debates a year ago. We have continued to see the gas that Joe Biden has time after time. He doesn't seem like he's the same Joe Biden of five or 10 years ago. All right. Uh, Kate Bettingfield, on behalf of the Biden uh, campaign, she's the deputy campaign manager. Uh, she went on in a new interview and she was talking about the president, the campaign, sort of trying to create these distractions when it comes down to the ultimate outcome tonight. Listen. He's going to try to uh, create distractions. He's going to try to divide. It's what he's done his entire presidency, but it's not going to work. He is going to fail because the American people are going to determine the outcome of this election. Because, Laura, you did hear the president in that interview this morning talking about what a mess he says Pennsylvania ultimately will be when it comes to tallying those votes in that state. And he pointed to another, uh, a few other states as well. So what is the Trump campaign message when it comes to that? Well, look, our message has always been we want every single person to get out and vote. We all get one vote in America. We want you to use it today. If you haven't already gone out and voted, do it today. Stand in line because, look, we have said that this has been an unprecedented year. We have never seen this universal vote by mail situation. It's been unchecked in many respects. Uh, in a lot of states, they've never done something like this before. So what we've said is we want Donald Trump to win by such an overwhelming margin of victory that it doesn't matter how many mail-in ballots come in late. It doesn't matter if there's any fraud. Uh, this is going to be a free, fair election and every single American but that's should get what we're their hearing. one as, vote and cast it. As far as that battle, though, I know that the president has talked about He's got the lawyers at the ready um, for those ballots that right now are it's, will be legally counted in that state after Election Day, postmarked by Election Day, uh, three days after. So what would we see if it does come to Pennsylvania as, on the part of the campaign to ramp up those efforts to stop those ballots from, be, from being counted? Well, we're not trying to stop any ballots from being counted. We just want this to be a fair election. And that's what the president has been saying from day one. Now, if there's any question as to the validity of a ballot, uh, of many ballots, then we are absolutely ready with our team to, to contest that and say these are not accurate, these are not valid. Uh, but the president has always said he wants it to be fair. He wants every American to get out and use their one vote and vote in this election. That's the best thing we can do. That's, it's about the future of America. Uh, so we are not saying that any ballot shouldn't be counted, but they should be, it should be done in a legal way and in a fair way. Okay, Chris Coons, we had him on earlier. He was talking as a Biden surrogate and said this about ultimately the outcome tonight. Um, if either candidate declares victory tonight, what they're trying to do is to stop the counting before it's finished. We want to have a free and fair election. We should do, as has always been done, count the ballots, even including those that have come in before and will be counted after. Some folks are saying that, no, no, elections are decided on Election Day. That's just not true. To that, you say what, Laura? 
Well, we are not the ones that said that you shouldn't concede the election. Hillary Clinton said that under no circumstances should Joe Biden concede this election. That is not what we have said on our side at all. Again, we feel, Sandra, like this is going to be a historic night. I think the, the, the polls have been so, so inaccurate with this president. I continue to hear from people that say, I went in and voted. I have lied to my friends about voting for Donald Trump. People have not been talking to pollsters, and we think that it's going to be a landslide victory, and we aren't even going to need to take this into further days. I've got to leave it there, Laura, but we remember 2016, watching you and your family watch as the results came in, come in. What are your plans tonight for watching that? Well, we're all going to be together tonight, just like we were in 2016. We got into this fight together in 2015, have fought every step of the way, so we're going to be excited to be together to watch it all happen tonight. Okay, Laura Trump, thanks for being here this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right.